The sun is rising over Lake Sampaloc in the Philippines and another busy day begins for Lily Brawl. She has to start early to get everything done. With her husband working overseas, she's raising her four children on her own. My husband decided to go abroad in the year 1998. He went to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia and my husband told me to stop working and take good care of the children. Lily's husband is one of an estimated 10 million Filipinos who have left the country to look for better job opportunities. Each year, these migrant workers send more than 20 billion US dollars back home. Their families who are left behind survive on these remittances. It's a flow of money that is vital for the economy, but very little of it is saved or invested. On top of that, millions of people like Lily decide to stop working once their family member got a job overseas because in the Philippines they could earn very little themselves. So they now depend solely on this money from abroad. But on average, each migrant sends back just 200 US dollars a month and for most families, this is not enough. I have to pay the, the bills, I have to pay the, everything. And then afterwards, I don't have enough money. So I was thinking, this is the only money I have. How can I stretch this? I have four children and I'm doing nothing. So Lily decided to do something. She discovered a financial literacy training program aimed at helping families of migrant workers. Supported by the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, this training teaches people about budgeting and how to better invest the money they receive from abroad. For Lily, this knowledge was life-changing. First thing I was able to put it in my mind is if you receive your remittance from your husband, save first before you spend. It also makes me realize that I have to be ready for, for the reintegration of my husband. Because if I am not going to prepare, and who will prepare for us? Lily realized that for her husband to come home and not leave again, she would have to find a way for them to earn enough money in the Philippines. With the skills she got from the training, she set out in search of investment opportunities. And one day, she found what she was looking for. With money saved from her husband's remittances, Lily decided to invest in a fish farm. With an initial capital of 5,000 pesos, which is just 120 US dollars, she bought two fish cages and what happened after the first harvest was a huge surprise. The money that my husband sends me is 22,000 and I gained 30,000 from, from the fish cages. I told myself, oh, it's a lot of money. Maybe someday I can, say, I can tell my husband, you can come home. Less than a year later, Lily has 23 cages and is running a successful business and she's also providing jobs to others in the community. There are thousands of people like Lily who have attended this training and are using their remittances to build a more sustainable economy. And as Lily's business grows, so does her hope that it won't be long before her family is reunited.